couple of seconds or something. So it was just sitting there staring at me like this. But you know, me being me, who <laughs> threw the covers over my head because where am I supposed to go? I'm not about to jump because it was like a half wall and then it was my stairs because there's no wall. This is a wall, this is the half stairs, and then it's a big open space. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not going to jump from the half wall to my stairs. You're crazy. And at the time, I was like maybe 4, 11. I'm 5'4 now. It's, it's a long time ago. It's really long. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I threw the covers over my head. And then I fell back to sleep. And then I woke up because I heard something in the hallway. I was like, who was just walking in the hallway? But you know me, I was asleep. When I woke up and I was still laying down and I heard something in the hallway. But I was just like... Like, it was silent breathing, but, you know, I was listening because I thought something was going to walk in and just, like, snatch me out of my bed, like, paranormal activity, like. <laughs> Thank goodness nothing happened. After me hearing that, of course, I threw the covers back over my head. And then I was just sitting there for, like, a good maybe minute or so. But I didn't fall asleep. And for some reason, I didn't know what time it was because at the time there was, like, no touch screens you know, phones made. It was just like flip phones. Haven't we come so far? But yeah, it was the flip phones that was out and maybe tablets. And maybe there was like Androids and all that stuff where you could touch the screen. I don't know. All I remember is like flip phones was the thing back then. You know, flip it up and you know the phone, how it had the keyboard that was like this big. How it had the keyboard and then the rest of it was like a screen. I remember those. Ooh, and you know, like the little flip up phone where you would type sideways and the Game Boy and the DS. It was way back in the day. You guys know what I'm talking about. Maybe. But yeah, it was all that. And after I get done sitting there and I take the covers off my head, I just look. I don't even know what I was saying to myself. I feel like I was saying something, but I probably wasn't. I get up and I bolt. Now, this room that I'm in right now, this was Nina's first room that she was in. So, her door's closed. So, <laughs> my dumb self, you see how long this this door is? Like, this wall right here is? That's, is, that's as long as the hallway is, and there's another room, and it's a door. It's a pretty nice-sized hallway. But, yeah, I ran out of my room because the door is, like, exactly right there. I ran... And I came straight in here and I closed the door. And Nina's bed was like right here. And she had a queen size. No. She had a king size bed. Or it was a twins bed. And you pulled out the dressers from the bottom. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But yeah. And then I jumped on Nina's bed. Now I don't know what Nina took. Maybe she took some NyQuil or something. But that girl was knocked out. Because as loud as I slammed her door. And... As hard as I jumped on her bed. How did how did you not hear that? But um, by myself, I didn't turn the light on. You see the light switches right here? I was exactly right here. And I didn't turn the light on. So I was sitting in a dark room, just staring at the window. That's right here. I was just staring. The TV wasn't right here. It was on this wall. But me sitting right here, staring straight out the window, trying to wake up Nina. I was like, Nina, Nina, Nina. I was shaking her and she wouldn't wake up. I was so confused. I was like, what is going on? What is going on? Like, you got to blow up Nina's comments on her last video. Be like, do the story time of when you guys first moved in this house. Because I would like to know what she was on when I was trying to wake her up when I was in this room. Like, she would not budge. Like, she was not moving. Like, she was out cold. Like, no. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm sitting right here. And right in front of the window is a little boy. That's why I was trying to wake up Nina. Because I saw a little boy. And like I said, it was only 
my mom, her boyfriend, MCTV, me, and Nina. It was only the five of us in the house. My little brother wasn't even born yet. My mom was probably like five months pregnant with him at the time. So he wasn't even born. You know, we didn't even know if he was a boy or a girl. Maybe we did. I don't know. But he was not born yet. He was like, eh, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm just like, Nina, Nina, Nina. If you guys have ever seen the movie Unborn, that's the little boy I saw, the little devilish boy. That's the boy I saw in my room. I was not hallucinating because I was wide awake at this time. I was terrified. Now, let me show you how tall the boy was. Okay, so like I said, I'm 5'4", and the little boy was probably like right here to me, like armpit height, armpit height. So to see that standing right in front of a window with like lightning flashing through, I was scared, you know, that's like eye level at the time. Or is this for 11 to my shoulder? I don't know, but from a distance he was short. And if I got close up, we would've been the same size. He was not tall at all. But yeah, I was, I was, I was scared. I didn't know. Like I can tell you what the boys were. He had a pale face. He had like one of them Justin Bieber haircuts, but he had black hair and you couldn't see his eyes and his lips were like, like dead lips. Like they had no color, they were black. And he had like one of them vest, one of them brown vest on and he had white short sleeve shirt and he had like a dark blue tie and he had on some shorts like like right here shorts if it focuses like shorts like right here well of course longer for a guy so like maybe down here and he had on some high knees high knee socks and he had on some little shoes the fact that i remember everything that he was wearing it's actually terrifying terrifying of course, you know, me still sitting here, I feel like I was in here for like maybe five minutes, but it felt like two hours because I was just chilling, staring at this thing, shaking Nina, saying her name. I was like, wake up, wake up. <laughs> now, that I, now that I think about it, it's actually really funny. It's really funny. But yeah. And then I finally get the courage to get up, bolt, and go downstairs. Like, when I say go downstairs, like, I was, I was hopping. And as long as I lived in this house, I've counted every single step. So it's like eight steps going up, and it's like nine steps going up again. I was skipping every three steps. I was like, hot potato, hot potato. I was gone. Like, it was Matrix. You couldn't see me. I was... I was gone and at the time we had carpet so if you heard somebody walk in they would usually drag their feet because how tired they were so it would be like you know rubbing their feet on the carpet you know everybody would wear socks because you know you wouldn't want to step off something but yeah that's what I heard well that's not what I heard but that's what MCTV heard you gotta watch hers if she ever do one but yeah after I was right here I got out of her room, ran downstairs, remember, hot potato, hot potato, and I was just chilling. And when I got downstairs, I saw MCTV with her dad. And her, well, she was asleep. And she told me what happened, but I'm not going to tell you guys because that's going to be a spoiler. Yeah, she told me what had happened and why she was downstairs. And I was like, don't wonder why she wasn't in the room because... This this happened to her. She basically heard something that I saw later. And um yeah, her story's funnier than mine. And he was playing Call of Duty um Black Ops on the Wii. Yeah, you know how you had to get the controller and stuff and like do this. Like that was fun. I like playing it like that. But yeah, that's what he was playing. And I was just like, ooh, it's still raining. And again, I didn't check the time. I had no idea what time it was. But all I know is that it was dark the whole time. By dumb self, did not turn on the light. 
and me being as young as I was when I moved into this house, you know, still getting used to it out of like the 10 months that I've lived in this house, didn't know where the lights were. I didn't know where the lights were at the time. But yeah, I didn't turn it on. And that's the story time of when I moved in. You know, after that, I fell asleep. I woke up. We shared our little stories of what happened. And the person that I heard in the hallway was actually my mom turning on the air. But she was dragging her feet. So it scared me. So if you guys have, you know, any creepy stories that you would like to share, go ahead and upload it. I would love to watch that. I like watching scary things. I like to be scared. Um, I have more story times if you guys want to hear. Like the story time when I almost died. Literally the summer of freshman year. <laughs> it's not a long time ago. It's really not. And then I have the story time when I got lost. And then I have the story time when I got lost again. And then I have another story time. You know, just comment down below something and I'll think about it and maybe I'll do a story time on it. But don't forget to, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box too. Subscribe to me. And me and Nina made a channel called the Gemini Twins. We uploaded our second video like two weeks ago or last week, I think. Go ahead and check that out in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I already said that. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gemini Twins channel. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace. Right on. What if I did this? It's over here. <laughs> what? what did she just do? Hit <laughs> the camera. Hey. Family of the corner. Ah! Silent left.